This video is sponsored by Trade Coffee. Listen, if three out of seven people on my cabin on yesterday's flight were all using a Galaxy Z Fold 3, that might be an indication. Because yes, it looks like foldables are actually becoming mainstream as Samsung plans to go even harder on the lineup very soon. Some new renders show us the OnePlus 10 Pro's interesting design, but not with a so interesting price tag. And uh, if you're looking for those second generation AirPods Pro, uh, it seems they're back in the spotlight. I'm Jaime Rivera, and I know many of you criticize my tweet because I did it with an iPhone, as if I don't have to carry seven phones right now with Techvember. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today began with Microsoft for the first time in a while. A couple of days ago, the company announced their Windows 11 SE, which is essentially a stripped version of Windows 11 designed for education. This operating system is made for running on low-end hardware, meaning it's actually built to compete against Chromebooks, which is what's making it interesting. And then the cool part is that unlike Windows 10 S, this one won't come with the Microsoft Store pre-installed and will let you install third-party applications like Zoom or Chrome as they are claiming they want you to have a choice to work with what's best for you. Of course, you do see some limitations like the lack of snap layouts and other features limiting you to a single mode that places applications side by side. Still, Microsoft Service SE is the first device running Windows 11 SE, and that one starts at 249 bucks for four gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage, which is pretty compelling. It's like saying Chromebooks hold my beer. There's also devices coming from companies like Dell, HP, and more. So for those of you worried that your PC won't be able to run Windows 11, I wouldn't say this is ideal unless you're into Chromebooks, but hey, it's an alternative. Now, if you thought we were done with AirPods leaks, uh, now that the third generation is out, think again. Also, make sure you watch our review of these as I have a lot to say. That said, uh, we're still waiting for pros. And uh, if you remember multiple reports from trusted sources like Mark Gurman and Minchi Kuo said that we should expect them in 2022 with a stemless design. So about the date, uh, we have a new report from Tron where he's citing supply chain sources uh, saying that we can expect it in Q3 2022. And I know I'm also scratching my head over that timing. Apparently this information comes from the same source that gave Kuo his dates, but uh, we should also take it with a grain of salt considering the third generation AirPods didn't really launch when the rumor said. Now, as for the design, Mark Gurman also claimed that we could expect some design changes with the stems being gone for more Galaxy Buds-like design. And it seems that might continue. Mac rumors cite sources uh, discussing changes to the case, which would make sense if the stems are gone. So yeah, watch my AirPods 3 review and uh, let's see how this goes because uh, I'm waiting for those pros. Now let's shift gears onto a company we have not discussed in a hot minute, which is OnePlus. And the reason we haven't talked about them is because, I mean, they skipped the T variant of the 9 series. Uh, leaks uh, have really gone kind of dry after that, and then we got the 9RT release, and then everything's been focused on the Nord. Well, OnLeaks is back at it again and just gave us some 5K renders for the upcoming OnePlus 10 Pro. From these pictures, we can only see the back of the phone showing a matte black color variant, and it also features a pretty unique triple camera array that kind of reminds me of the S21 Ultra if you flip the hump sideways. Uh, we didn't really get any images of the display, but according to the sources, it'll be a 6.7 inch fluid AMOLED panel with a 20 by nine aspect ratio and most likely still rocking the punch hole. It's also expected to start with eight gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, and paired with a 5,000 milliamp our battery. Finally, and uh, it's kind of early to speculate, but this leak also suggests that the OnePlus 10 Pro will be launched in most regions in the first half of next year, but uh, you might not like the price. We're talking 1069 Yes, not 999 10 69 And listen, I'm sorry, but with the Pixel 6 camera and price, that 10 Pro should really be serving you coffee that says never settle drawn on the foam for people to be compelled. Let's see what we get.
And before we get to the hottest news, I know that intro left you intrigued by today's sponsor, Trade Coffee. For anyone that follows me, you'll know that coffee is a very important part of my day, and yet I'm just as picky as I am easily bored by a particular taste. So what if there was a better way to experiment from a curated selection of coffee in a way no supermarket would ever come close to achieving? Trade Coffee connects you to more than 400 of America's top roasters, all handpicked and tasted by their team, and they have a full system to ensure it's coffee you like. Simply take their quiz about how you like your coffee, what you use to make it, what you match it with, and don't worry, the quiz is made for everyone, whether you're new or a total coffee nerd. Your first match is guaranteed. And hey, if you don't like your first bag of coffee, Trade will send you out a different one for free. Then rate in order for Trade to offer more matches for you to repeat. The best thing is you're not just avoiding the grocery store, you're also supporting local roasters. I've been enjoying Rocketeer from Atomic Roasters, which uh, brings more of a medium blend that I really like, and the best part is that it comes as a blend from my local Honduras and Guatemala. Follow the first link in the description to give Trade Coffee a try. That even includes your first bag for free. And finally, for the hottest news today, let's talk about Samsung, but uh, we'll take a break from the S22 leaks to talk about foldables. I mean, the other day that I tweeted that I kept seeing more people using the Z Fold 3, it is kind of surprising, but it has become a thing, though I have seen the Z Flip 3 more often in the market, and it just proves that it's really popular. According to a new document leaked by the elect, Sammy is planning to increase production for both of their foldables, and with that Z Flip seeing a larger increase. According to the document, instead of 1 million units, they'll be producing 2.9 million units of the Z Fold 4. And when it comes to the Z Flip, instead of 2.2, they'll be manufacturing 6.9 million units of that Z Flip 4. Of course, this still isn't enough to reach the Galaxy S series, but it is a great thing to see foldables get more and more popularity as time goes by. Now, another interesting thing to note about this document is that the S21 FE isn't dead, and they should should be going for 9.3 million units for it, and uh, they even have plans for another variant for the S22. This report also claims that the S22 will be released on January 5th at CES, which is, uh, it's kind of hard for me to believe, but then multiple reports hint that uh, probably February will be more realistic, but then that would be the S22. Anyways, in today's question, I mean, let us know. Are you more enticed to buy a foldable with the Z Flip 3 success? Because in my case, I think that the price tag plus the design really played an important role. But if it only had an S Pen, that would be the phone that I'd be carrying, which is the reason why I'm carrying the Z Fold 3. Anyways, leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. You can also follow us on social medias. Our extended coverage happens on Instagram. And follow me on my personal handles to see me carry a lot of phones. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week.